give you the opportunity to come to the lectern and, and speak. We'd like for you to give us your name and address for the record, please. Um, we do have a three-minute time limit on, um, on speakers, so I will ask, uh, I'll ask Fanchon to monitor that for me, please. And uh, that being said, we're going to move uh, into our uh, consent agenda. We have any discussion, any corrections, errors, or omissions? <coughs> if not, the chair will entertain a motion. Excuse me. I move to approve the minutes of the consent agenda. I'm sorry. Okay. I have a motion. I'll second. I have a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Let's go to our public hearings. Um, first item will be item 4A. And I believe, Diane, are you going to be? This is going to be Bill? She'll do 4B. She'll be 4B? Well, what if I wanted her to do 4A? Is that okay? It's your meeting, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead, Bill. <clears throat> Thank you. This is case number 4A. Receive a report, hold a discussion, conduct a public hearing, and take action on a replat of the old Madonna edition located between East Hall Street and Munson Street. Case number 2021-006RP. So here's the subject property outlined in yellow. <clears throat> That's Munson to the north and East Hole to the south. And here's the zoning of the subject property. It is multifamily one. Uh, the developer does have intentions of constructing single family detached dwelling units, even though you have multifamily zoning, and that is permitted in this zoning district. I'll note that this property is also within the residential infill overlay. Um, here's a cutout from the proposed plat. The applicant is taking an existing 14 lots. Uh, I know this is a little difficult to read, so I'm going to back up here. Um, they're taking these 14 lots and combining them into a total of 12, just to get a little bit more width on all the lots. After the replat is approved, the applicant will be moving forward with the installation of public facilities such as city sewer in the alley to service the new once the sewer is installed, then the plat may be filed with the county, um, assuming approval of today's plat. <clears throat> so the plat meets all the zoning requirements and subdivision standards, and you have a recommendation of approval from city staff. And I'll remind you that this is a public hearing. Okay. Thank you, sir. Any questions of staff? All right. Uh, anyone here speak in favor of this request? Bill covered it pretty well. We would like to get started as soon as the replot is approved and the sewer is installed. We are working with the public utilities to make sure that we are doing it the most efficiently, uh, as well as running the electrical through the alley as well. Okay. Any questions of the speaker? Thank you, ma'am. Anyone else here to speak in favor of this request? Anyone here to speak in opposition? All right, seeing none, I'm going to close the public hearing. I'll entertain a motion. I move to approve the proposed replat. I second. I have a motion with a second. All in favor, aye. 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 All right. Item 4B. Thank you. Uh, item 4B, receive a report, hold a discussion, conduct a public hearing, and make a recommendation on a request to rezone approximately 23.82 acres located in the northwest corridor of West Crawford Street and U.S. Highway 75 from a commercial zoning to a planned development zoning district, case number 2021-144PD. This is the subject property highlighted in yellow with U.S. 75 to the east and West Crawford to the south, and Ansley Lane to the west. Current zoning is commercial. Um, this property does fall within the highway overlay district and is adjacent to the native greenbelt. Um, the applicant is requesting a rezone to the planned development district for a uh, development of a new auto dealership. They are also asking within the PD to uh, allow for development standards that are currently prohibited within the highway overlay district. As you can see in this elevation, they are wanting to use um, aluminum clad panel system for the facade of their new auto dealership. They are also wanting to utilize a black coated chain link fencing atop a retaining wall for safety and security purposes along the green belt and to the northern part of their property. Um, the property or the development will be 
developed into two phases. One, phase one will be the new auto dealership with phase two consisting of a collision repair center and a building for detailing and make ready for uh, delivery of vehicles. Applicant uh, is here for any questions and staff does support this rezone. Okay, thank you, Diane. Mm -hmm. Any questions of staff? Okay. Um, applicant is here. There's three applicants. <laughs> Can I have just one? <laughs> good morning. Okay. Mr. Good morning. Freeman. Mr. Freeman. Yes, the one with the nice printing. Yeah. You just told me that a few That's minutes it. ago. Yeah, <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Uh, we're here to fill any questions that you, you might have. Name and address. For oh, I'm sorry. Chuck Thank Freeman, 1150 uh, East Kennedale Parkway, Kennedale, Texas. Okay. Uh, any questions that you might have on the project, we're here to uh, answer. Okay. Um, any questions for our speaker? I've got just one. I know that the green belt is very important to some residents in that area. Can you talk a little bit about that? Well, the Green Bay, we're considering it to be sacred. So we're not touching it at all. Uh, the only thing that we're doing is we're, because of grading situations on the uh, west side of the property, we're putting a retaining wall up there, hence the requirement for chain link fence, vinyl coated chain link fence. But the Green Bay, we are not touching or disturbing. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mr. Freeman, are you architect of record? Is that your? Uh, yes, sir. Any other questions of the speaker? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. You betcha. Uh, Eric? I just wanted everyone to know that I'm here to uh, answer any questions you might have. The Green Belt is actually incredibly important to me, too. It's, uh, I grew up, actually, in the neighborhood that's on the other side of that Green Belt, so it's, there's a, a lot of nostalgia there for me. And uh, not only do I want to be a great neighbor, to that neighborhood, but I want to help bring light to it and help brighten the area uh, with what we're developing is, I hope to be the pride of Denison and make it as beautiful as it can possibly be. Thank you, sir. Any questions? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Um, Mitch, and Mitch, I'll probably ruin your last name, but I'll take a shot at it. Is it Panzik? Close enough. All right. Mitch Onzik, 3904 West 6th Street, Fort Worth, Texas. I'll be the general contractor on the project, okay. so if you have any constructability questions, I'm here to answer those, and obviously I'll support this project. All right. Any questions? Anything All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And then, uh, is it Leah Turner? Yes. You want to come forward? Oh, I'm sorry. I got you. That's 4C. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. My bad. My bad. Anybody else here on 4B? Nobody else here on 4B? Really? Okay. Um, you know, when we had this discussion a couple of months ago about whether or not we wanted automobile dealerships uh, along the highway, I made the statement that Architecturally, uh, we would not be disappointed with any new development that has that would, you know, as far as an auto, auto dealership that would be coming to the, to the highway, we would not be disappointed. I think what we just saw proved that point. Um, in in respect to the metal uh, that they're asking for the, the variance on or, or the PD, so that we can use that. Um, that is a chosen material now for a lot of commercial. Very expensive material to be used, um, and it's very popular not just with automobile dealerships, but you've probably seen the just general commercial construction. So um, that being said, I'm I'm totally happy with what I with what I'm seeing. And as we said in our earlier discussions, um, Eric and Classic have been good neighbors and good community supporters, and uh, so I'm I personally. Anybody else have anything you want to add in discussion or any questions? No, sir. No. All right. I'm going to close the public hearing, and I will entertain a motion. 
I move to recommend approval of the subject property being rezoned to a planned development zoning district for the development of a new auto dealership. Second. I have a motion to second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unopposed. That one passes. Item 4C. Thank you, gentlemen. This is item 4C. Receive a report, hold a discussion, conduct a public hearing, and make a recommendation on a request to rezone approximately 160 acres from the Agricultural Zoning District to a planned development overlay district for retail, townhomes, single family, and multifamily uses, sorry, uses located east of US 75 and north of Randall Drive. Case number 145PD. So here's the subject property outlined in yellow. That's US 75 to the north, 91 to the east, and Randall to the south. And that's, uh, it's a little hard to see in this uh, uh, aerial. However, the new high school is located to the east, just for additional reference points. Here's a zoning of the area. It's predominantly zoned agricultural with some light industrial uses to the south and a sprinkling of commercial or retail along 91. And that plan development is the high school. So here's the proposed concept plan. This is uh, what the developer is wishing to move forward with. So you can see you have retail on that corner of 91 and US 75. Um, one of the things that staff was really happy to see is the, the developer is really receptive to feedback on the actual layout of the plan. So here you can see you have multifamily <clears throat> directly adjacent to US 75. That was a direct request from staff. And then the other thing on here, which <clears throat> I think is noteworthy, in addition to an amenity center as well, is the, the true mix of smaller and larger lots. So <clears throat> those darker lots there are going to be your, those orange lots are 50 by 115. And those yellow lots are 60 by 115 feet deep. So those, those different lot sizes are mixed in throughout the phases and within each phase. And at the very bottom of the development, you have some townhomes with access off of Randall Drive. In addition to uh, about seven and a half acres of parkland dedication on the, uh, I guess that's the western end of the development with some trail connectivity through the middle. <clears throat> so city staff, you know, we're recommending approval of the project. As a recap, the proposed plan development is a rezone from agricultural zoning district to a PD for retail, townhomes, single family, and multifamily uses. And uh, we're present for any questions you might have, and so is the applicant. Bill, what's the zoning south of Randall Drive? <clears throat> That's going to be light industrial. That's what I was thinking, okay. And if you keep going further south down Juanita, it's additional industrial with some Just one, <clears throat> we've talked before about the idea of the plan developments and possibility of sidewalks. Will sidewalks be incorporated? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Any other questions of staff? Okay. Is the applicant here? Hi, thank you. My name is Ashley Williams. I live at 3907 Wichita Trail in Flower Mound, Texas. Um, I'm here on behalf of the applicant and I'm the engineer. Uh, the applicant's here as well, but we are happy to answer any questions. Mr. Medina did a phenomenal job of explaining the project and we've really enjoyed our time working with the city of Denison and collaborating and figuring out what's the best use for this space that's going to work well for us as well as you guys. All right, thank you. Okay. Does the applicant want does the applicant want to speak or you're speaking on his behalf? Sure. Okay. My name is Spiro Trajeski. I live at 111 Lilyfield Drive in Allen, Texas. I am the uh, uh, owner and applicant. Um, I would like to say that based on our uh, conceptual design, um, we've had a lot of input from the local community, the city. And uh, we, we are very proud uh, with our final design, and I think that this would be a great addition 
to the smart growth of Denison and the path that Denison has taken. Um, I do believe that this will be one of the premier uh, home communities that would promote home ownership and um, living in the city of Denison and with the proximity of the schools and the lakes and the other uh, parks and, and other things that we have as amenities in this project, um, we're very proud to be a part of it. And any questions anyone might have, I'm willing to what, what answer. What put in the amenity center? Is that going to be like a community pool? Yes, that, that will have a uh, community house. pool. It will have a gym facility. Uh, it will have a gathering hall type facility that would be available for functions for the community itself. Um, there will also be a lot of trails and parkland, uh, green space dedication that will be also an amenity to the community. Um, street lights, sidewalks, um, all of the uh, infrastructure, including fiber coming into the property. Um, but that, that will be the, the center point of the, of the project would be the amenity center. Have you discussed um, the sale of the lots to a, to a builder at this point? Have you we have several builders that have been interested in coming in uh, to, to the project. We have not decided on, on a builder as of yet. Um, we have... Are these volume builders? Um, some are. Uh, we have turned down some of the volume builders because they intended to build rental communities, and that's not what we envisioned for this project. Right. Um, that's one of the reasons that we went with a little bigger lot is to kind of promote home ownership instead of rental mm -hmm. communities. And because it does have a multifamily component, there is a home for that. Um, there is also a townhome component. So this, this is designed to attract uh, a wide age group and, and an affordable uh, group. You answered one of my questions, and my other one is, what is the price range you're kind of looking at for the single family? The single family, um, we're thinking, should be somewhere around 300 plus. And that, that would be a starting point. Any other questions? Thank you. Okay. Ms. Turner, we finally get to you. Okay, so I've never done this before. I'm kind of nervous to speak in front yeah, of people. <laughs> we live. We live right here, so that kind of bigger lot is ours right here. Um, I'm so excited after hearing you guys because I wasn't sure what they were going to put there. Um, so you answered most of my questions. Thank you. But I do have a question. I don't. So this is the high school ag barn. So I have concerns for these kids and, of course, the kids I gave birth to. Um, this road right here. I don't know when's the last time you guys drove down the road, but it's like an ongoing safety hazard. Um, there's like potholes bigger than my expedition. And I just didn't know like during the construction, if it's gonna tear that road up anymore and be cleared up and um, just like if anything's gonna happen right there with this new development. It'll be doubtful that any, anything in that right of way will be disturbed. You know, the property line in is where the construction will occur. Um, I doubt very soon there's gonna be any, any you know, infrastructure as far as water or sewer lines they actually have already come out to flag for the sewer line that they'll be I think probably everything's moving. going to be internal. Uh, I'm just, just guessing that that's, that's the way it'll be. Uh, so I don't think that, that that's Randall Road, I think, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. don't think there'll be any, anything done to it. Any changes to it? All right, that's a different conversation for a different day then. They answered most of my questions. Thank you very much. And I would be more concerned about that person that has to live next to that ag barn. <laughs> Yeah, that's a whole difference. Hey, we, it should have been a park lot. Fortunately, we live upwind from the Ag Barn, so we're okay. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. Anyone else here to speak in favor or in opposition to this request? Yes, sir. I have just a couple of questions. Sure. Give us your name and address for the record, please. Did you fill out a speaker's card? Uh, no, I did not. All right, when, when, before you leave, would you fill it out? Sure. With Fanchon and Meadow, we will have it. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes. 
Uh, my name is Logan Bartley. I live at 3627 North State Highway 91. So I'm right on the, where it abuts next to the proposed development. I'm glad to hear that it's not going to be an apartment rising right, right by my backyard. So uh, this does look a lot better than I'm glad it's going to be single homes, not um, stuff like that. So uh, that answered a lot of my questions. Um, a few questions I do have on the part that's still in black and white. Uh, what are they zoned just to the right, like where my house is and a few others? Yeah, like there's multi colors. There's like dark green and some purple colors. Um, <clears throat> Okay. Yes, all that light, light purple is light industrial, and the yeah. those darker purples, those deeper colors, right. those are more of your commercial okay. retail type uses. But the part that's still in green is currently agriculture, like even where my house is, is still agriculture. Yeah, if if it's got a green color on it, that's ag. Okay. So and that none of those are going to be affected in the change. Right? <coughs> okay. All right. Well, that's all the questions I have. Thank you. Uh, do you have a card? Uh, Anyone else? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to just clarify something. On Randall Drive, mm -hmm. the Public Works Director, my understanding is that she's going to require a traffic impact analysis with the, uh, whenever we start platting and, mm -hmm. and civils are under design and have been submitted. Okay. That traffic impact analysis may show that improvements to Randall Drive may be necessary. Required, yeah, may be necessary. Uh, my assumption is that they would be, um, that there might be an upgrade to Randall, but without that analysis, it's difficult to make that determination right now. Okay. Okay. Anybody else? All right. I'll close the public hearing. Uh, any discussion among the commission? Let's see. Can I ask one more question? I'm so sorry. Well, oh, sorry. technically I just closed the public oh, hearing. Oh, you did? Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, can I field the question? Bill? Can I field a question even though I've closed the public hearing? I'm so sorry. Absolutely, sir. Okay, yeah, I can field a question. I'm here. <laughs> and, sure. and we can always meet after the meeting as well to answer yeah. your questions about the process. Do you after? Absolutely. Okay, just uh, curious about how much, but it's really dangerous. That road is really dangerous. So I just I have a lot of concerns there. If you would, yeah, just get with Bill after the meeting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That way I don't get in trouble. Yeah. All right. I do I'll have a, a motion in. I do have a question for oh, yeah. Bill. Sure. I don't know if you knew that. Is, is there going to be a. Uh, traffic signal put in at the 91 do you know or so that across traffic, from where the entrance to the high school and so forth yeah I, that traffic impact analysis will show that yes. when warranted yeah, it, it, it is a text dot right of way so right. we'll have to coordinate with text dot and the developer to make sure that whatever is needed is put there but my guess is yeah All right, I'll entertain a motion then. I move to recommend of the project subject property being rezoned to a planned development overlay district for retail, townhome, single family, and multi family use. Second. I have a motion with a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Item 4D. <clears throat> Item 4D receive a report, hold a discussion, conduct a public hearing. Make a recommendation on a request to rezone approximately 39 acres from the SF75 district to commercial zoning district and I'm sorry and commercial zoning district to a planned development overlay for retail, townhomes, multifamily uses. This is located west of the intersection of Woodlawn Boulevard and West Coffin Street. There's a subject property outlined in yellow. As mentioned, that's Coffin that kind of uh, runs east to west into the property. The applicant has intentions of changing that name. And then you have Woodlawn, which turns into Armstrong, running north to south. Now to the east, you can see that outline of a railroad bed. That's actually the future phase of Katy Trail. Or what will be Katy Trail, rather. Here's the zoning of the property. As I mentioned, it's zone SF75. And there are some commercial zoning districts along the frontage road. In this case, Austin and Woodlawn. I'm sorry, Armstrong and Woodlawn. Here's the concept plan of the property over the proposed PD. As with the last case, we do have an amenity center. <clears throat> Here you're showing a trailhead and connectivity with some parking into the future Katy Trail, which the developers proposed. Um, 
This project, compared to the last one, is a lot more heavy on the multifamily side. As you can see, you have let's see, uh, about a 16 and a half acre tract of multifamily uses on the northern balance of the property uh, with some open space and a dog park in addition to some, some supplemental trail connectivity to Katy Trail. On the bottom half of the proposed development, you're going to have additional townhomes and then retail adjacent to Woodlawn. So with that, Mr. Chairman, you have a recommendation of approval from city staff, and the applicant is also here. Okay. Any questions of staff? All right. The applicant would like to come forward. Hi. Um, again, Ashley Williams. Address is 3907 Wichita Trail, Flower Mound, Texas. Um, again, similar to our last uh, project that we just discussed as well, we've been working with staff extensively on this one to, you know, facilitate an opportunity for the community that could offer multifamily townhomes and, you know, some mixed-use development. We feel like the ac access and uh, or the accessibility to Katy Trail and what we could do with that in this area, along with the frontage of the commercial along Woodlawn, it really facilitates the multifamily and the townhome use. If you have any questions, happy to happy to answer. Any questions? <clears throat> Can you describe the amenity center? Or, excuse me, center. Center. Okay. It's a swimming pool and. Yes, it will. It will have a swimming pool. Um, you know, in a, a covered pavilion area, outdoor restrooms, and we've even looked at you know on the plan of how are we going to interconnect that to Katy Trail and um, make it you know where the residents here not only, you know, use the pool, but use the other amenities as well. That's quite a wooded area. Will you be able to retain any of the trees that are existing now within the development? Whenever we get our, in our next step and within, like, you know, started on the engineering, we'll be able to do our full topo, the tree inventories. Um, if there's ability to save trees, I would definitely promote that and want to. Um, a lot of times, depending on what that topography looks like, what is you know our infrastructure that we're having to put in, and you know the adjacency to, to the floodplain as well, are all considerations that are going to help us determine if we can. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just pleased to see the incorporating the Katy Trail in the development with the walkways and everything involved. Yeah, this is a this is a real cool piece of property. I think this will be this will be awesome. Okay. Well, seeing no discussion, I'll entertain a motion. I move to recommend approval of the subject property being rezoned to plan, plan development overlay district for retail town townhome and multiple family uses. All right. I'll second. I have a motion with a second. All in favor, aye. 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 None opposed. Okay. All right, that does it for public hearing items. Number five, staff updates. Um, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I don't really have any staff updates about the department. Um, I would like to inform the PNZ Commission that um, I have accepted another position with another city in my last be uh, the first of December and I've enjoyed my time with all of you and I've learned a lot and it's been a real treat uh, working with all of you and it was uh, it was very difficult uh, writing my letter of resignation it was bittersweet and, and uh, hope to one day come back to the city as well and uh, and serve our citizens in a higher capacity well, we have vetoed that so thanks for staying <laughs> yeah, we didn't just, vote. I just want to tell you I made a phone call to that city this morning you're not going to that city <laughs> we'll miss you Bill so Thank you for all your hard work. Yeah, thank you. You know, for all your let me just say this about Bill. Um, Bill was kind of thrown into the fire. Yes. When Bill came to Denison. He came to the Parks Department, and we had a need in the Planning Department, and they just brought him in there and just 
threw him to the wolves. And he got lashed up a little bit, but he survived. And, and I think you've done a good job, Bill. I really do. We, we appreciate you. We'll miss you. And, and now we're throwing Diane in the fire. Yep. <laughs> about to start taking your abuse. So. <laughs> <laughs> well. All right, anything else? That wasn't a fun update. No, it was not. That's it. Okay. Okay, well, thank all of you for being here this morning. We appreciate you coming out, especially our citizens and your input. That's important to us, and it, it, it helps us. We're making decisions about the future of this city. And uh, with that being said, I'm going to entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. I have a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor, aye. 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 We stand adjourned at 1033 a.m.